How much time do you think it would take to animate this scene? A couple of days, a week, a month? Look at all the elements to be animated. We have those 20 flying creatures, the main character flying, the flying fish here, the floating creatures over there. So many things. What about that beautiful background? That takes time too. And a lot of skill to paint as beautiful as that. There is so much stuff. So knowing all the work we have to do, paint the backgrounds, do all the creatures, animate them, how much time do you think it will take? A couple of days, a week, a month, time for a speed challenge. Let's see if we can do it in one hour. Doing this in one hour is quite a challenge, but it is possible. A wonderful group of developers gathered at Realution and wondered how can we make animation faster and easier. They knew that messing up with keyframes and timelines is hard and confusing and it takes time. And this is hell for a timeline. So many things going on. So Revolution said, what if they just hit record, move the mouse and they have a cool animation? Genius! Big round of applause. This is the motion pilot. You can take any element, click on preview and move your mouse. Look, I am just moving the mouse and animating this as smooth as it looks would take so much time, but this is happening real time. So this animation was done in less than 10 seconds. What about moving all these fireflies for this scene? I use the flock feature. Look, click rec, move one of them and the rest follow now back to the scene look how easy it is to animate each part we have four groups to animate in this scene animate the floating jellyfish in the background the fish the floaters and the main character i'm going to animate them right now so you can see how easy it is and how quickly for the balloon animals i select the main jellyfish go to pilot disable face cursor and now if I test this by pressing preview and hit spacebar, my mouse movement is not the best. So I press ESC, I need to go to settings and then have lazy mouse set to 20. This allows for a smoother movement. Great, it works, we got this. Now go to the scene panel, select all the jellyfish. I set the flock settings to uniform and delay time of two frames. That means it will take two frames for each character to pick up the animation that I'm doing. And with that, I just click rec, hit space, and look, super easy. Just moving my mouse naturally. And look, okay, how much did it take to animate that? Like five seconds? Are you kidding me? It's so easy and you can do it too. Next is the fish, super easy. Just do the same. Select all the fish from the scene panel, go to motion pilot, disable face cursor, get lazy mouse settings to 20, then go to flock settings, uniform, 10 frames delay. Click rec, hit space, boom. <laughs> I just moved my mouse very naturally in a waving motion, done. Another five seconds of animating this. Can you see how easy and fast animation becomes with Cartoon Animator? Now the floaters, piece of cake. You should know the drill by now. Select all the floaters on the scene panel, open motion pilot, disable face cursor. And for this one, the lazy mouse will be five. Go to flock settings and set uniform delay of five frames. Click rec, hit space, and move the mouse having the floaters trying to lift their heavy bodies. And that's it. Again, less than five seconds. If you pay attention, I spend more time getting the settings right than the actual animation because we have taken several hours of animation work and reduced them to 15 seconds of work. It's super easy, super intuitive. You should try it now. If you haven't, I recommend getting a free trial of Cartoon Animator 5 right now by clicking the link below this video. Just know that this is exclusive for Windows users. So if you have a Windows PC, give it a go. It's so easy. Now the tricky part, animating the main character. For this one, we do have a challenge to report. 
we need this character to fly over but not across the creatures because look if this goes across the fish it, it looks weird like trespassing or something so it has to go carefully over i will animate it in two parts first i will animate the character moving up and down smoothly easy just go to motion pilot disable face cursor keep lessy mouse to maybe 15 then click record hit space and animate the flying motion up and down then part two i will animate the trajectory in a way that i can control very precisely so the character flies over the fish at the precise moment it needs to but here's the challenge I already animated the character going up and down. How can I animate it moving towards the screen? Well, like this. Add a prop to this scene. I will use this ball. Then I attach the character using the link function here and then click on the ball. Look, now the ball can drag it along anywhere I want. And whenever I'm done, I can just go to the scene panel and hide the ball. So I start with the ball at the back. Then at the end of the scene, it will move forward. Then in the middle, I adjust the trajectory a little bit here and there. And look, it is crossing and avoiding stepping over the fish. And that's it. Mission accomplished. But wait, all of this is super easy once everything is set up. This is actually the final step. I animated this scene in five simple steps. Production, where I create everything, the background and etc. The background set, well, we put everything together. The camera animation, where we move the camera. And then rigging each asset, adding the bones, setting up the springs, and then doing the animation for each. Which, as we just saw, it takes just a few seconds. It's fast and it's easy and it's fun. Download the free trial of Cartoon Animator right now and try it. I am providing the files for this animation below so you can see, you can check the link below this video. That way you can learn and practice. And if you want to learn more, you can check out a full webinar where I explain how I did an animation super fast using AI for production, extracting every part, and then animating each scene in Cartoon Animator. Because believe it or not, I didn't draw anything in here. The background, the characters, everything was done with AI using Mid Journey. You can learn how to do all of this in more detail in the webinar. The link below this video, enjoy.